Aloha everyone and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the only show in Hawaii where we talk about the plant-based diet and vegan lifestyle. I am coming to you live from downtown Honolulu, but today's my first day out of the studio. I am recording the show from home. I'm sure all of you around the world are probably feeling the isolation blues right now. Um, so this, this show hopefully will go ahead uh, smoothly and we won't have any internet uh, connection problems. But welcome to the show. I'm really excited today to have a guest from the mainland, someone who I met recently here in Oahu a few weeks ago. I would love to introduce you to my guest today, Woody Bell. Welcome, Woody. Hi, Lillian. Nice to see <laughs> Aloha. you. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, Woody, I was so looking forward to meeting you because I had actually heard a lot from your cousin who lives here, who you were visiting mm -hmm. on the island uh, just recently. So you are plant-based now. You're a vegan. As of one year on March 14th, I've been plant-based. Congratulations. Vegan. Yes. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. I did I did see your post on your social media and I do have to congratulate you because it's, I'm sure it was a difficult first year. It normally is for everyone. So tell us a little bit about your journey, how you came into the vegan diet or lifestyle, what started it? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd heard a lot about you from my cousin and Marsha and, uh, they, cause when I, they, they'd been visiting over here on the mainland and I told them, Mm -hmm. that I was vegan. We'd gone out to a restaurant. They said, well, what, what kind of restaurant can you eat at? You know, what can you eat? Mm -hmm. And then they told me, well, we have this friend Lillian that's a vegan that makes all this wonderful vegan food. So, so I said, well, it's really simple. It's uh, I, I can eat just about anywhere. It's uh, basically vegetables and fruit. Uh, mm -hmm. I just keep it simple. And uh, okay. so I was approaching my 70th birthday to get back to your question. Uh, last year, I was approaching my 70th birthday, which is in May, mm -hmm. and um, I was getting concerned about having type 2 diabetes, and I'd, okay. I'd been diagnosed it, uh, with it in 2009, and I had uh, been trying to deal with it with different, uh, uh, eating different ways and stuff like that, trying to avoid sugar. None of that was really working, and uh, I still struggle with sugar. I have a sweet tooth. And I'm glad that uh, really dark chocolate, for the most part, is vegan. <laughs> so yes, and and also very good for you too. Yeah, it is. And so um, I was uh, looking for ways to uh, to uh, deal with my uh, diabetes. Uh, the results, uh, the end result of diabetes is you start losing your eyes, and and uh, uh, they can end up cutting off your feet and things like that. And uh, if, when you show the pictures, I, I live a quite active lifestyle and uh, I was not into uh, being uh, dehabilitated at all. So my girlfriend uh, has been a vegan for a long time. Her name is V, you'll see her in the pictures. And uh, she went ahead and sent for this book and had it sent to me. And uh, I didn't even know it was coming. And it was Dr. Neil Bernard. And uh, it was about reversing diabetes. And I start looking at this book, and it's all about plant-based diet mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. and being a vegan. And I had, uh, I, I didn't think I could do it. I used to love to eat meat and, uh, and cheese. And, and I wasn't a real big dairy fan other than cheese and, and eggs and things like that. But, uh, uh, and I thought that I had eaten healthy. And, uh, and she was always talking about how simple it is. And uh, so uh, I started looking at that book and reading the book. And, and uh, I also watched a couple things on uh, Netflix. One was uh, called What the Health. And uh, awesome, awesome documentary. Yes. Yeah. And, and even though I don't buy everything in it, I, I, mm -hmm. I was looking for a lot. I, I think there's a lot of really good information in it. And, uh, and then I also uh, watched the Game Changers. And uh, this and then, was definitely a game changer for a lot of people around yeah, the world. I think big... it just, yes, it really um, focused on protein, I would say. But 
it really mm -hmm. kind of answered a lot of questions that people have, you know, their concerns about the vegan lifestyle and protein. And again, all of these documentaries, awesome to watch when you are looking for more information. Would you, I do want to just, if you don't mind, interrupt and talk about that book that you read, because this is something I think every person should read. According to the medical news today, Woody, it's estimated that, quote unquote, 30 million people in the US are living with diabetes and type 2 diabetes accounts for between 90 and 95% of all cases. So it's basically they're saying around one third of Americans are affected by this either pre-diabetic or actually diabetic. So mm -hmm. if you are getting any of the symptoms that you um, earlier talked about, you need to really go and seek medical advice. Again, before I continue, I do want to do a quick disclaimer. The content of the show is not intended to be a substitute for professional or medical uh, advice, diagnosis or treatment. So always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you have about a medical condition or if you're uh, wanting to really change your diet or start a new diet. So Woody, that's a lot of people affected by this uh, condition. That's a lot of people. Diabetes. Yeah. And I, it, it really and is. I, yeah. And I am one of them. And uh, I wasn't on insulin. And I was, and I knew that once I, I, I was told that once you're on insulin, there's no reversing that. You can't go back. That's what I've been told. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'd taken a couple. I, I've been taking a couple medications. I'm still on them, and I'm waiting for uh, okay. my my doctor to give me the okay to get off of them uh, okay. for my next when my next checkup happens. I think next month. And uh, but one thing that did happen was that my A1Cs dropped dramatically within one month, with one month. And wow. uh, I was I was just amazed. I was just amazed. And uh, reading this book and um, and seeing all the, the, the stuff on Netflix and, and, and everything like that, uh, the common theme is is uh, a big uh, a, a, a big problem with diabetes is meat is meat consumption. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I had never thought of that. I thought it was sugar. I had a completely different uh, uh, picture of it. It was, uh, it was about bread. It was about sugar, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, I love cake, things like that. And, Carbohydrates, uh, and it, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's, and it, everybody's talking about it's meat. Meat is a big kind of a villain in this. And uh, mm -hmm. so... Um, I, so I, I, I said, okay, I'm, I've got to do something. I, I you know, it, it, I had a little fear in me of, of, of the diabetes. You know, I, I know what happens. And uh, so uh, I was willing to go for it. And uh, actually, uh, I thought I was going to have more problems with it than I did. And uh, uh, I was actually able to uh, stay off the meat. I have not eaten meat since March 14th, 2019. That's and, amazing. Uh, yeah. Good on you. Not one. I think, not even. Not even a nibble. <laughs> yeah, I think you. I think you really, if you are going to really take take care of your health and and really uh, try and take charge of your health by going on a vegan diet, you just have to go cold turkey. And the thing is, yeah. it's not like giving up drugs or cigarettes, because when you you know if you're a a smoker a heavy smoker and you need to stop smoking there's really nothing else there that's going to you know satisfy that craving but when it comes to changing your diet and food that you put into your body mm -hmm. you have to remember that just by giving up meat doesn't mean you're going to starve and not have anything to eat right, right. you're going to learn right. about some really you know delicious ways to eat and your body's just going to appreciate it and show you that what you're doing is right so good for you congratulations again on the one year mark yeah i'm i'm a i did quit smoking 33 years ago and that was mm -hmm. was one of the toughest things i ever did and uh i'm sure because yes. you go i went cold turkey i didn't do any vaping they didn't have it then i didn't do any gum or patches mm -hmm. i just 
went cold turkey and uh, it was rough. Uh, <clears throat> the big concern that I had and everybody brings up to me constantly is where do you get your protein from? I know, and, uh, that's the million dollar question. The big question. misconception. <laughs> yeah. yes. If you don't eat meat, how do you get protein? Yes. Yeah, and, uh, I think yeah. I think Woody, there are still people that believe meat is made by animals. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you want to um, again go watch or, or see a documentary like What the Health, or definitely Game Changer. The Game Changer yeah. does clear up some of those myths and misconceptions about protein. Right. But vegan food, vegetables are very high in protein, and. Mm -hmm. When you, when you get protein from vegetables, you're getting it directly from the source, not through yeah. a dead animal's body. That's right. I also like so nuts yes. and almond butter and peanut butter and stuff like Seeds, that. Seeds, legumes, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the other thing is I thought it was going to be very difficult. And uh, actually, the way I eat is very simple. And... Uh, mm. Uh, and the other thing I, I, I didn't not I didn't know this was going to happen, but um, I dropped 25 pounds, and uh, you know it, it happened yes. pretty fast too. Mm -hmm. And I eat a lot. <laughs> okay. I eat a lot. I don't. So diet. do I. Yeah. yeah. Here's the other. Here's the other um, game changer with the vegan diet. I know people are going to be surprised when I say this, but you don't have to count calories. Yeah. That's right. I don't know, Woody, any person who is vegan that I personally know who counts calories because you don't have to. In it's fact, the person issue. that you, it's not an issue. The the doctor that, that we mentioned earlier on, Dr. Neil Bernard, who did mm -hmm. write the book Program for Reversing Diabetes, the scientifically proven system for reversing diabetes without drugs. Now he belongs to a physician's committee that put out YouTube videos on a regular basis. If anyone is interested in more information about a vegan uh, diet or plant-based diet, I do recommend you go to YouTube, do Google physician's committee. They have some awesome videos that explain in detail the link between a vegan diet and type two diabetes, whether it be maintaining the, the condition or of uh, living living with it and reversing it. So they there is actually a lot of proof and a lot of studies that have been going on that do show type two, type 2 diabetes can be reversed with the correct diet. And when we talk about the correct diet, we use the word vegan diet, but that doesn't mean eating fries and vegan ice cream and, uh, you know, really bad, unhealthy vegan food. It's talking about a low... <laughs> A low fat, you know, whole foods vegan diet. So yeah. we we are gonna take a break shortly, Woody. And then when we come back, I do okay. wanna talk a little bit more about your healthy, active lifestyle, which is okay. absolutely, you know, one of the most important things in leading a healthy, healthy lifestyle along with what you put into your body. So stay tuned, Woody, and everyone else out there, stay tuned. And we'll be back right after this break. I'm Christine Linders, a physical therapy specialist and the host of Movement Matters. My show is designed to teach you the simplest and most effective treatment strategies to get you out of pain and back to doing what you love. If you or someone you know is having pain in a certain area of the body and would like a free assessment in treatment over media or in person, and then come on the show to talk about it, email us at thinktechmovementmatters at gmail.com. Or if you have a topic you would like to know more about, please email us. My goal is to decrease pain all over the world, inspiring people to take better care of their bodies, to enjoy life to the fullest. I look forward to hearing from you.
Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm your host Lillian Kumik, vegan chef and uh, cooking instructor here in Honolulu. Today I am so happy to have my guest Woody Bell all the way from California. Hey Woody, welcome back. Thank you Lillian. <laughs> nice to see you. So, <laughs> so great talking to you Woody. I, I do want to get right back into our conversation. So we've covered the fact that uh, the vegan lifestyle, I should say, the plant-based diet is definitely working for you. How about mm -hmm. meds that you were taking? Are you, are you finding that you don't need as many meds as before? I just take, I, I'm, I'm still taking me two asking. meds. I'm still taking two meds. I will not get off of them until my doctor okays it. I, okay. I kind of, I work with my doctor. And uh, when so I first... Uh, yes. When I first became vegan, I uh, went and saw her, and uh, and I I, I didn't bring the book. I'd forgotten to bring it, but I told her she knew the book, and she knew who the guy was, and she said pretty much, she said that's the guy. So uh, she said, yeah, if you can follow that, uh, more power to you. You know, she was behind me all yeah. the way on that. So awesome. Um, he yes, he does have again so many videos on on YouTube. One in particular, when I was uh, doing a little bit of homework for this show with you, Woody, um, I did find on YouTube, Neil Bernard, uh, it, the, the name of the YouTube video is Evidence-Based Eating Patterns for Type 2 Diabetes. I'm actually going to mm. provide the link for this once our show is uploaded onto YouTube later on today. The other video worth looking at is also Neil Bernard, the YouTube channel is called Physicians Committee and it's called Vegan Diets for Diabetes and Weight Loss. A vegan diet, you are gonna you are going to lose weight on a vegan diet whether you yeah. plan to or not. That's just the way yeah. it works. That's why a lot yeah. of vegans walk around looking younger, healthier, less BMI, body mass index than mm -hmm. most uh, meat eaters. That's just a fact. So Woody. Let's take a look at some of the photos that you sent in because you just look amazing. You mentioned your girl, look at how gorgeous she is, V. You mentioned v. that she's been a, a vegan for a long time. Yeah, I don't know how many years. Uh, she was a vegetarian for many years and then she mm -hmm. went vegan many years ago. Yeah. Beautiful couple. I love this photo of you guys. This is, this we is were... a frame up. <laughs> We were attending a wedding, and that's my motorcycle. It's a 2014 Indian, and uh, the couple that was getting married are motorcyclists, and uh, we were all encouraged to ride to the wedding, so we did. Awesome. Uh, that's I, that's a beautiful photo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I was actually doing a model shoot for that hat. That's what that was. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, and V hooked me up with that. There's a hat make. There's a company called American Hat Makers here in the Monterey Bay area in Watsonville. Okay. And uh, and so uh, they were looking for models, uh, mm -hmm. and they wanted somebody that rode a motorcycle. And uh, uh, so, yeah, they contacted me, and I went out and That's did a model awesome. shoot. <laughs> yeah. Great. And I, that I took does my motorcycle. Look like a yeah, it does look like a, a poster for something. That's awesome. Yeah. Who knew, Woody, you would be modeling at this age? Yeah, <laughs> at 70 <laughs> years old. That surprised me. I, know. I never 70, thought that would happen. <laughs> 70 years <laughs> young, I would say. Yes. And here's yeah. what you do, Woody. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't mention earlier. You are actually a musician and do play music um, over yes, there on the mainland. Tell us a little bit about yes, your music career. Well, um, Currently, I'm in a band. Uh, we just play clubs around the Santa Cruz area where I live. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Red Horse, W-R-E-D-H-O-R-S-E. -E. We play dance music, a lot of rock and roll, rock, rockabilly, uh, reggae, some blues. Uh, we even do a little country western. We just cover a whole lot. And a picture of me uh, playing an acoustic guitar is uh, I did that. I was doing a solo uh, okay. show. Uh, with well, I did it with a couple other people, but I'm actually doing a solo song right there, and it was for Christmas. And I think I'm singing uh, "Blue Christmas" there. <laughs> oh, nice! So, yeah. So you you sing as well, Woody? Yes, I do. Yeah. Awesome. I've been doing it for years. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's take a look at another one. Here's your motorcycle. Yeah. 
Guys, you you both are so photogenic. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I, yeah. I mean that. Like you and V should be on more posters. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, hook up with some vegan vegan com uh, companies that put out vegan products and <laughs> do something. So those pictures right photos. there are as when I met you. That's in on Oahu a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And uh, yes, this is at the Japanese yeah. temple. At the, yes, at the at the yeah. Buddhist temple. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. uh, it's beautiful. V, it's v very is, beautiful there. V is actually sixty one, and I'm seventy. And, uh, she looks at I least she, 20 years younger. She, she's amazing. <laughs> yes, she is. She's amazing. Yeah. Wow. My cousin Pete, my cousin Pete let, falling on the left leave, and his let's wife leave Marcia. It, let's leave it on this photo for a minute. <laughs> <Okay>. So <laughs> Pete and Marsha, one of uh, our best friends here on the island. Yeah. That's you how I met you. With, with Pete, yes, through them, yeah. yes. They're another couple that just so active and enjoying life. I mean, that's what it's about, yep. isn't it? When we're talking about diet and the vegan diet and, you know, how illnesses can be reversed or prevented. I mean, rather than reversing illnesses, we should be preventing them. And honestly, you know, nobody wants to be sick and be popping pills all their lives. So this may be, Woody, the times, the trying times that we're in right now with the coronavirus and everyone being isolated, maybe this is a, a really good time for us to rethink or reevaluate our health. But where I'm going with this, what I'm, what I'm saying is enjoying your life is the main thing. And if you're yes. sick, you won't be able to. So, you know, do what you can to take care of your health so that you can have really awesome times like this. Pete and Marsh actually really do take care of themselves. I know Pete's lost a lot yes, of weight do. recently. Yes. yes. Yeah. So maybe you and I well, can um, can give them a bit of a nudge and see if they'll <laughs> they'll try more plant based <laughs> on a regular basis. Um, I mean, Marsh is I, so active as well. She looks amazing too. Yes, and and uh, while I was staying at the, I was staying with them, and yes. uh, they accommodated. Uh, as far as food, they were just wonderful. And uh, yes. Marcia was very concerned. Uh, she's, and I, I had to keep telling her, just keep it simple. A salad is wonderful. Just keep it yes. simple. It's uh, Let's get, let's get you, know. you back on the screen, Woody. And, and uh, Pete and I are a month, we're, we're a month apart in age. I'm actually a month, wow, old. I'm his okay. elder. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that yeah. you were so close in age, but yeah, we, yeah. we celebrated Pete's 70th birthday just last year. So yeah, right. Interesting. Hmm. Might have to do a bit of a Pepsi Coke challenge on that one. <laughs> 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 but you know, you know what, Woody? I think you noticed when uh, you joined us to go and see a concert while you were here at the Blaisdell. Mm -hmm. I was going to bring some, that. Yeah, we did some tailgating before it had yes. a, had a, some wine and some poo poos some appetizers. Did you notice that almost everyone brought vegan food? Yes, I did. I noticed that. And uh, they separated the vegan from the non-vegan and it was yes. over in one car. All the vegan food was in the, the other car and most everybody was hanging around the vegan car. Yes. And I, I, I was yes. like amazed at that. I said, because you and I were the only vegans there, I believe. Yes. Uh, no, and there was, they... I think somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was only us two. Yeah. Just and us two. They, okay. Our friends here do that every time we get together. And the food it's that you food. brought, that you prepared, was amazing. It was delicious. Oh, thank you. Thanks, yeah. Woody. Yeah. I, I might I was, have a uh, career doing this after all. I think you would. Uh, I got to enjoy myself without feeling any guilt and just stuffing my face. So. Oh, I'm so glad, yeah. <laughs> that's you can, part of being a vegan. Yeah, I know. that. That's the thing, <laughs> you know. I must say, whenever I talk about, or whenever it comes up in conversation that I'm vegan, people... There are people that are going to feel a bit threatened or a bit turned off mm -hmm. or a bit funny about it. You, you must have noticed this in the last year as oh, you yeah. le as you left behind your old eating habits to. I hang around with motorcyclists. I know, so I they must be with like motorcyclists. Going, yeah, they're all meat the eaters. This guy doing? <laughs> I know, but the thing is, you don't have to. You don't have to feel feel threatened by someone who's on a who's you know taking care of their health, eating healthily. In, 
um, in fact, you should be embracing that and trying to to learn more about it because you are changing the way you look before people's eyes, basically. Mm -hmm. I would love to have seen a photo of you a year before you started this plant-based diet, but I, I can guarantee people must be looking at you going, something's different, something's changed. Yeah. And it's obviously your body is just, you know, going crazy with all this, uh, with all this healthy stuff going on. I've actually, yeah. a friend of mine recently told me I look younger. And then of course mm -hmm. there is the 25 pound weight loss and it could even be more, it could be 30. That's, that's incredible. Cause I don't really weigh myself. But. I know, neither do I. I don't have a scale here. Don't need I it. Don't. don't need to count calories. Yep eat a lot i did have to buy diet. new clothes i did have to buy new clothes <laughs> see, a there, new belt a, new pants <laughs> well see all see every, all the viewers watching this like there, there's a good excuse if you want to um if you love shopping as much as i do mm -hmm. you get to lose all this weight and go shopping for a whole new wardrobe <laughs> well, my son he was the one uh he noticed it he goes you're losing a lot of weight dad you need to buy some new pants. Those are looking really bad. And he was the one yeah. that you know got on me about it. He's forty one yes. and he's in pretty good shape uh -huh. too. And uh, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, I went. You know, you're right. So it was nice of buying new Levi's, new belt, new shirts. Yes, you know? yeah. yeah. And, th and they were smaller the instead of bigger. <laughs> I know. For it, yeah, it doesn't that feel nice? I mean, think about yeah. your the way your self esteem can increase when you yourself know you look better. Not only do you feel better, but you look better. It's a win-win situation to me. I, I, know, I, I look at people who are struggling with struggling on diets, Woody, who are counting mm -hmm. every single calorie, weighing every single ounce, and still not quite getting there to the point where they feel like they're at their right weight and want to main, you know, at that that perfect weight or that ideal weight that we all kind of mm -hmm. have vegan diet i mean it's it's really not difficult at all once you open your mind to the fact that the human body doesn't need animal protein to survive that's right and and it's that's just, the thing yeah. is, is when i do talk to people about you know they're struggling trying to diet and i say why don't you try being a vegan and I, mm -hmm. I try to tell them how simple it is and they say well i need the protein i need meat and i cannot they don't believe me, <laughs> you know. I know. And uh, of course, yeah. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a. I'm not an expert on that. I'm just, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a musician yes. and, and uh, a regular guy. And, and uh, uh -huh. but, anyways, um, I also it has given me so much more energy on stage. Uh, playing sometimes they play late night gigs and stuff, and right. I've uh, really I've really noticed that I have a, a lot more energy on stage and. Uh, just a lot more active and uh, mm -hmm. it's easier to stay up. So. Yeah. And I'm sure, Woody, with your riding, you, you ride your motorcycle a lot. I'm sure that takes quite a lot of energy out, out of you. So yeah, how, I just how got has that back affected from a, your riding? I just got back from a 1,200-mile uh, trip. When I came back from Hawaii, I was home one day and uh, took off and went camping with some friends. And... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, over the weekend and uh, it was I was gone for four days and it was a 1200 mile ride and I wow. got home and I I was just fine you know you know I'm saying that well, after... but I, I have uh -huh. I have absolutely no idea how far that is because the rest of us are on the metric system Woody that's right that's right <laughs> <laughs> we almost <Get> changed <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. years back we were talking about it and it never happened and I don't know why know. we don't it's simpler it's way simpler <laughs> I know. Yeah. Woody, we, we have actually come to the end of the show and it's been such a ple pleasure talking to you and hearing about your journey. One year down, so many more awesome, healthy years ahead. <laughs> and it's been nice to meet you and uh, see Dave Thank again. You. And it was, Thank and we you. had a fun time over there and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. And I, uh, I'll take you up on that vegan dinner. Vegan dinner on me next time you're on the island, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> and, and to all the viewers out there, thank you so much for watching. Do uh, watch more of Lillian's Vegan World live from Honolulu. Thank you, Woody. To everyone, please be safe in these trying times. Uh, take care and yeah. see you next time. Aloha.